Before we understand Bayesian neural networks, let's consider a typical task in deep learning, such as binary classification. In this example, we have an input image that is passed to some deep learning model that must return whether the person in the image is wearing a face mask. There are only two output possibilities, face mask or not face mask, and hence this is a simple binary classification task. Let's dig a bit deeper into this deep learning model. Let's consider one unit of a given layer in the deep learning model that could be something like a deep neural network. For simplicity, we have a three-dimensional input to the layer. The input is passed to a single unit that is parameterized by a weights vector. After passing through the linear unit, the result is passed through some activation function, such as sigmoid, to give a single scalar output value. Putting this mathematically, y equals the activation function applied on w transpose x. Expanding the transpose, we have the expression here. In typical neural networks, we want to learn the best values for the weights w1, w2, and w3. The difference in Bayesian neural networks is that the weights are not hard values that we want to learn. Instead, during each forward pass through the network, the weights are sampled from a distribution, and it's actually the best distribution of each weight that we want to learn. For example, we can say each of the weights W1, W2, and W3 are sampled from their own respective distributions that could be Gaussian normal distributions. Therefore, the optimization problem has changed, where we don't want to learn the hard weight values, but instead we want to learn the parameters of the distributions that the weights are sampled from. In this case, we want to learn the best mean and standard deviation values for each of the normal distributions. Now let's get our hands dirty and dig into the maths of Bayesian neural networks a little bit more. Let's introduce some notation so that we are all on the same page. My set of training data will be defined as DTR, where I have n input data points, x and corresponding y output labels, or n y output labels. It makes it easier to imagine the supervised binary classification task of face mask detection discussed at the beginning of the video. Let the deep learning model be defined by f, where the model parameters to be learned will use the conventional notation of theta. Let the fancy math cow L represent some loss fun function, perhaps something like the common cross entropy loss. So let's briefly revisit how normal neural networks work before dwelling into Bayesian neural networks. At training time, the best setting of theta, which we will call theta star, can theoretically be defined as the parameter values that maximize the probability of the training data, which is equivalent to maximizing the log likelihood of each of my training data points collectively. In terms of practical implementation of a neural network, we can find the best theta by minimizing some mathematically equivalent loss function that compares the prediction by the model F against the label Y. So that's training. At prediction time, we just take the output that we call the test likelihood, theoretically, which practically translates to a forward pass through our trained network with the test input. Okay, let's talk about how a Bayesian neural network differs to the normal neural network. As discussed previously, the Bayesian neural network does not have hard values for theta, and hence we must learn the parameters of the distribution that theta is to be sampled from. Let's continue to consider the case where the distribution for the weights is a multivariate Gaussian. So we want to learn the mean vector mu and the covariance matrix sigma. The theoretical function to maximize is the same as before with the log likelihood term but there is an additional KL divergence term 
that acts as a regularization term. To maximize the expression, we want the likelihood term to be as big as possible and the KO term to be as small as possible. KO divergence finds the distance between two distributions. Here, we want to prevent the distribution of theta becoming too far away from the standard normal distribution. This prevents the sampled weight values becoming too big and hence prevents overfitting to the training data. In practical terms, like before, the log likelihood term translates to a loss function. Note the set change in sign of the KO term, which occurs because we are now minimizing instead of maximizing. At prediction time, we have the typical inference equation where the distribution for the test output is calculated by integrating the product of the test likelihood and the posterior distribution theta star over all possible settings of theta star. This is the same as the expectation of test likelihood with respect to the posterior distribution. Practically speaking, we sample theta multiple times from the learned distribution using the best settings of mu and sigma, and then pass our test input through the network F using each of the sample's thetas in turn. To get the final test prediction, we average over all the individual sample predictions. So that's a whistle-stop store of Bayesian neural networks, and you will probably need to give yourself some time to digest all that maths. I hope it helps.